Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is bacon wrapped jalapeno popper barbecue chicken. And it's easier than it sounds. So let's get into it. So today what we're doing is this thing that we like to do from time to time, which is we take two really delicious things and we put them together. In this case, it's going to be a jalapeno popper stuffed with cream cheese and some cheddar and some barbecue rub. And we're gonna put it inside a barbecue chicken thigh, wrap it in bacon and cook it on the grill. What could go wrong? So the very first thing I wanna do is I want to hollow out these jalapenos. We wanna get all of the seeds out of the inside. So we're gonna start by taking off the stem and then we wanna keep these whole. We're not gonna cut them in half today. So what I'm gonna do is just cut down into the center and actually I'm just gonna cut a little slit out to make this easier to work with. And then you wanna kinda squeeze this to get inside the pepper. Don't squeeze too hard or you'll just break it. And then working the paring knife just around the ribs and through those seeds. And then if you wanna get a little spoon to scrape it out, you can do that or you can brave it with your fingers. Just make sure you wash your hands right after you do this. But essentially that's all we're looking to do, just hollow it out so we can stuff it full of cheese. When we cut that stem off, we make sure to keep it closed so that we don't lose extra cheese out the end. So now that we got those hollowed out, we're gonna mix up the cheese mixture to stuff inside. So we're gonna take equal parts here by weight uh, of white cheddar. You could use any kind of cheese you like here and cream cheese. Now I've tried a number of different cheeses getting fancier and fancier and found I always come back to cream cheese and then some sort of sharp cheddar. That's just my favorite combination. Now the third ingredient we're gonna need is a little bit of barbecue rub and we're using the Meat Church Honey Bacon Barbecue. I'll add about a quarter cup. So you can mix this by hand. I'm just gonna make it easy on us and do it in the KitchenAid with the paddle attachment today. And we're just gonna mix this until it all kind of comes together. Don't we'll just scrape down the sides here. We just wanna make sure we don't see any streaks in there. Everything's well distributed. Now if you happen to have like some leftover pork, pulled pork, even some brisket, that would be a great thing to mix in here for the filling. So at this point what we're gonna do is take these jalapenos, we're gonna take some of our cheese mixture and stuff them inside. If you've got some gloves, throw on your gloves if you wanna keep it clean, otherwise just get ready to get your hands dirty here. As long as you start with them clean, it's all right. So we're just gonna fill those right up to the brim just like that. I like working with this when it's a little bit colder because it really packs in there nicely. If it's too warm, it might start to ooze out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna seal the chicken around this cheese and wrap it in bacon so hopefully very little of this cheese is able to escape from the center. All right, we get the last of these filled up and we're gonna move on to the chicken. All right, so here's the setup, guys. We've got our boneless, skinless chicken thighs here. We've got our poppers that are already stuffed. I've got some bacon that we're gonna wrap around these. So now we're just gonna assemble them, get, in se get them seasoned up, and we'll be ready to put them on the grill. So we're gonna work one at a time here, taking our boneless, skinless thighs. We're just gonna hit them with a little bit of seasoning on both sides. Also, if I find like this one end typically is a little bit fatter, if you want, you can kind of butterfly that out just to make everything a little bit more uh, on the same level to cook evenly. And then what we're gonna do here is take our popper and lay it at one end. In fact, I'm gonna take this open end and press it right into the chicken so that we're kind of sealing that off. I'm gonna roll this up. And then we're gonna get the bacon wrapped around it. So we'll go one, two strips wide. And then we're gonna have one strip down here that's gonna make sure we hold the ends together kind of fully encapsulate the chicken and the popper and then just roll it up. 
Hit that with just a little bit more rub on the outside. And that's it. All right, last one going down here. We got a few extra jalapenos here, some poppers, so we'll just throw some bacon on here and put them on the grill with the chicken. So today we're gonna to be cooking on the Yoder Smokers YS640S pellet grill. We're running it at 375 degrees today, and that's kind of important because we need to make sure that this bacon on the outside actually crisps up. If we just run this at a smoking temperature, say like 250 or so, it's never really gonna get crispy. It'll start to render, but it'll never quite get there. So as far as texture goes, we need a little bit of that done this on the outside and that's why we cook at a higher temperature 375. So we'll just start lining these up here on the top. We'll give them some space. Like I said we want to make sure that we get some color and some crispiness on all sides so we don't want them too close to one another. So for now, we're just gonna let those cook away. I'll check on them in about 45 minutes or so. Uh, it should take about an hour is my guess. It totally depends on the size of your jalapenos, the size of your chicken, but typically around an hour is the cook time. And we're gonna finish them with a glaze, but we'll worry about that a little later. Well, we're back right about the hour mark now. The bacon looks fantastic. The internal temperatures come up to 165, which is our target temperature. And for that target temperature, let me show you where we're actually temping the chicken. So when we're temping, we're gonna go toward kind of the fattest end of this, just on the inside of the chicken before you hit the popper. That's where you wanna be at 165. So we're gonna pull these off here and hit them with a little bit of our barbecue sauce just to glaze them up to finish. For the sauce, we're using the Coslix Maple Whiskey Barbecue Sauce today. It's got some really nice mustard in it. Uh, of course, that's kind of what Coslix is known for. So that mustard mixed with the maple, mixed with the barbecue sauce, great flavor profile. It's sweet, but not too sweet. Just the right amount of tang. Now, this chicken is just super hot right now. So this sauce is going to tack up to the outside just fine. We don't need to leave it on the grill for any amount of time. Just spread this around and let it sit for about five minutes. Well, the sauce is tacked up. They're still nice and hot. So let's slice into these things, take a look and get a taste. All right, so let's start right in the middle here just to kind of get that cross section. Oh yeah. Got the cream cheese oozing out. Our chicken's still nice and moist, super juicy in there. And then the thing I love about doing these jalapenos raw is you still just have a little bit of structure to them. slice up really pretty as little medallions. Whoa. It's so juicy. I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? We put a ton of cheese in the middle. It surprises me still though. Jalapenos, you never know what you're gonna get. These are pretty mild. Sometimes they'll surprise you. But like I said, I really like that the structure of that jalapeno is held up a bit. Uh, I've done these in the past where I fire roasted the chilies first and then stuffed them. You just completely lose all texture that way. So I think it's a great element as far as the freshness of that pepper goes. And then, of course, bacon. Bacon makes pretty much everything better. And this barbecue chicken's no exception. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all of the products featured in today's video. If you enjoyed the recipe, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.